If you've ever had to work on outdoor photography, at some point or another you've come across a few ugly lawns. And rather than using stock photography to clone out this lawn, I'm going to show you how to create your own lawn using Photoshop filters and turn a lawn like this into a lawn like this. And even adding lawnmower lines to give you that freshly mowed look. Keep watching this video and I'll show you how it's done. So starting off with our grass replacement, we're going to need to create our fake grass. We're going to open up a new document and we're going to make this 6,000 pixels by 6,000 pixels with a white background. So in our new document, first thing we need to do is adjust our colors. Foreground color, we're going to use HSB or hue, saturation, and brightness. And we're going to make our hue 120, saturation 100, and our brightness 60. And hit OK. The background color, we're going to make 120, 100, and 30. And hit OK. So now with our colors selected, we're going to go up to Filter and Render clouds. Next we're going to go up to filter and noise, add noise, and you're going to set your noise dialog to 50% Gaussian and monochromatic and hit OK. Now go up to filter and we're going to go to filter gallery. And under the filter gallery you're going to choose texture and grain. The intensity is set to 0, contrast set to 50, and the grain type is horizontal. And hit OK. You'll see that we've got our base grass here, and it's almost like you're looking from top down, and you see all the little individual blades of grass. Now this is where the magic happens. So we're going to go up to Filter, and Stylize, and Wind. And under Method, you're going to want to select Wind, and the direction from the right. And you'll hit OK. Now you'll notice that right away we've kind of got a little bit of grass growth here, but we need some more. So we're going to go back to Filter. And up at the top you're going to see the last command that was run, which is the Wind command. And you're going to repeat that. So we're going to run it once, and one more time after that. So three times all together. Now once we have our grass, we need to rotate the view. So we're going to go to Image, Rotation, and we're going to rotate counterclockwise 90 degrees. And when you zoom in, you should see the grass pointing upwards. So before we can use our grass, we have to clean up some of these lines that have appeared from running the wind filter. For that, I like to use the patch tool. With the patch tool selected, I'm going to just highlight certain areas and I'm going to clone out all these lines that I can see. Now don't worry about these dark spots that have appeared from the cloning process. This will actually help you in the long run because it'll give some realism to the grass. Once you're done cloning all your grass, then we can go ahead and bring it into our house picture. So just click on your grass and drag it over top of your house layer. Now once we're in here, I'm going to right click on my grass layer and I'm going to convert it to a smart object. And the reason I'm doing this is so that when I manipulate the layer by shrinking and skewing it, Photoshop won't destroy any of the details that are in the layer. And this way I can always rasterize it again and I can make changes, but it'll always save the layer as is. I'm also going to rename this layer to new grass. 
Now you can hit Control T or Command T on a Mac, and we're going to just scale this down and bring it into the center of our image. I'm just going to hit Control to be able to add perspective to this, and you're going to free transform it into place by skewing it over top of the old grass. You may have to zoom out a little bit in order to pull this bottom part out all the way. Now, the idea here is to give it enough perspective that gives it the illusion of the grass being farther away at the top and closer to the viewer at the front. When you're happy with what you have, click on the check mark up top. Now we have to work on masking out the part of the grass we don't need. So I'm going to just hide my new grass layer, go back to the house layer, and I'm going to use the quick selection tool to make a rough selection of the grass. And you may have inadvertently selected some of the other landscaping in the image. I'm just going to hit Alt or Option on a Mac and I'm just going to use the Quick Select tool to remove that. We're going to smooth out the selection just to get rid of some of these rough spots. So I'm going to go up to Select, Modify, and Smooth. And you're going to smooth it by 50 pixels and hit OK. Once you're happy with your selection, you're going to have to zoom in to some spots and fix up a few areas that were removed because of the smoothing process. So using my lasso, press shift on your keyboard until you see the little plus, and you're going to use your lasso to add these missing pieces back into our selection. In this area here, we're going to have to remove part of the selection. So we're going to hit Alt or Option on Mac, and we're going to remove this corner. There we go. And that looks pretty good. Now we're going to bring back our new grass layer and click on the Mask button at the bottom. Now at this point, we need to add a little more detail to the edges of our grass because right now the edge of our grass, especially around the walkway, has a really sharp edge to it. And you would normally see grass that's kind of poking out like this. This is from the old grass. If I turn this layer off, you can see the old grass just kind of poking out into the walkway. So we're gonna imitate that, but we're also gonna leave this grass here. It just kind of adds to the detail. So I'm not gonna bother removing it. With your mask selected, we're going to go up to Filter and Filter Gallery. Now the filter you're going to apply is under Sketch and it's called Torn Edges. You kind of see the results there. We get this nice rough look. My settings are Image Balance set to 20, Smoothness set to 1, and the Contrast to 17. But you're welcome to change or adjust the settings as you like. Hit OK. And you can see that our new grass now has slightly rougher edges and it gives it the appearance that the grass is moving into the walkway or even into this other landscaped area here. The next step is to add a curves adjustment. So we're going to adjust the color to make it a little bit darker. I'm going to go to my adjustments and go up to curves. You want the curve to only be applied to the grass layer. So press Alt or Option on Mac and click in between the layers until you get this little white arrow next to the curves layer and that just means that it's only affecting the new grass layer and not the house. With your curve selected you're just going to grab the line here right in the center and you're just going to drag it down to about the intersection there and let go. And you should get this nice dark color for your grass. We're also going to add a slight gradient to the mask for the curves. So if you click on the mask itself, hit G on your keyboard and you should enable the gradient tool. Make sure that you have black and white selected 
and we're just going to drag from the bottom here up slightly and we're just going to give it a little bit of depth by just applying that gradient. Next we're going to add some extra details to the grass like some darker patches, lighter patches, so pretty much some shadows and highlights. So we're going to make a new layer and we're going to call this highs and shadows. Now this layer we're going to fill with 50% gray. So we're going to go up to edit, click on fill, and choose 50% gray and hit OK. And you're going to change the blending mode from normal to soft light. Now using our tools on the side here, you're going to use dodge and burn. And burn will give you shadow detail and dodge will give you highlights. So we're going to go through our image and I'm going to add in some of these shadows and highlights. I also want to add some darkness to the side of this grass here beside the walkway. And this gives the appearance that the grass is growing right next to the walkway and creating a slight shadow beside it. Now using the burn tool on the grass next to the walkway, I've created some darkening effect on the actual walkway. So if you alt click or option click on a Mac in between the highlights and shadows layer and the curves you're going to apply that highlight and shadow layer to the grass layer and also using the mask on that layer. And you're going to mask out all the burning that was done on the walkway. Now with the burning and highlights done I can apply my next layer and I'm going to go under my adjustments and we're going to go to solid color and I'm going to hit OK just because it's set to the default but I'm going to drag this below my photo of the house and then I'm going to zoom in onto some of my background foliage here and you're going to want to select the color for our solid color from some of your foliage just to match the greens a little bit better from the sunlight that was being cast in the photograph. If you leave it as is, it may not look too bad, but it does sometimes have the appearance of AstroTurf unless you match the color a little bit better. I'm gonna just double click on our solid color and using the eyedropper, I'm gonna just select a nice green color from some of these plants. Let's say something like this here. Let's try this green here and then drag this back up to the top. And again, we're going to alt click or option click on a Mac in between the layers just so that it's applied to the lawn only. I'm going to zoom out and now I'm going to adjust the blending mode all the way to the bottom to hue. And if I hide this layer, you'll be able to see the color difference. This green works a little better in our photo as the original color is a little bit too bright, too, too astroturfy for this particular image, whereas this green is a little bit better, matches the shades of some of the other plants. So now we're almost done. We just have one last thing to do, and that is to create our lawnmower lines. So I'm going to create another new layer, and I'm going to double click and call this mower lines. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to use my brush set to default colors. So if you hit D on your keyboard, it'll default to black and white and just hit X to swap the colors to the white. And using a brush that's set to, I'm going to use 300 pixels, but the hardness is at 100%. I'm just going to start drawing lines across my entire view in order to simulate my lawnmower. So you want these lines to be about one brush size apart. And 
and you're going to go all the way down to the very bottom of our image. Now if you hit Control T or Command T on a Mac and hit Control or Command, we're going to free transform our mower lines into position. And once you're happy with how they look, hit the check mark. Now I'm going to zoom in. Now we're going to hit Alt or Option on a Mac in between the layers so that we apply the mask from the new grass to our mow lines. Go up to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. And we're going to blur 20 pixels. Hit OK. Now we're going to change our blending mode to Soft Light and reduce our opacity to 50%. And there are the finished lawn mower lines. So now our lawn is complete. We've used nothing but filters in Photoshop to create this replacement lawn. I hope you enjoyed making this fake grass in Photoshop. If you want to catch any more of my videos, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.